peppered with craters, this is Moon's South Pole, a place where no one has ever been. In less than 60 hours from now, India's moon mission, the Chandrayaan-3, will make a soft landing here. It is now just one step away from achieving a historical first. Chandrayaan-3 is not the only spacecraft which stands a chance to land on Moon's South Pole. This after the Chandrayaan was expected to lose the unofficial race to the lunar surface to Russia's Luna 25. Before we talk about the status of Chandrayaan, let's briefly look at what happened with the Luna 25. According to Roscosmos, the Luna 25 vehicle collided with the lunar surface due to a deviation from its pre-landing elliptical orbit and has ceased to exist after colliding with the Moon's surface. This should tell you that landing on the Moon is no joke, even if a country has done it before, like Russia 47 years ago. On the other hand, India's Chandrayaan-3 is getting closer and closer to the Moon. The ISRO said it successfully reduced the orbit of the Chandrayaan-3 mission's lander module on Sunday. Launched on 14 July, the lander module of Chandrayaan-3 successfully separated from the propulsion module on Thursday, 35 days after the mission was launched. The mission objectives of Chandrayaan-3 to demonstrate a safe and soft landing on the lunar surface, rover roving on the moon, and to conduct scientific experiments. Experts say the biggest challenge in the landing of Indian spacecraft on the lunar surface is to get the spacecraft from a horizontal to a vertical position. According to P.K. Ghosh, a space strategist, the Chandrayaan is travelling at a tremendous speed. More than 6,000 km per hour, it has got to reduce it to nearly 1 meter per second before the landing module lands on the lunar surface on 23rd August. When Chandrayaan lands, India will become just the fourth country in the world to achieve this feat after the United States, Russia and China. Besides, India will become the first country in the world to reach the moon's south pole. Should I stock up on some global brands? Diversify investments with global stocks. Invest. Diversification is interesting. Should I invest in global markets? You only progress when you ask better questions. Mint. Think ahead, think growth.